This week I beg to move the following resolution staying in my name. And whereas on the section 1091E of the value added tax cap 15.42, the act, it is provided that the Minister of Finance may, by order published in the Gazette, amend the schedules to the act. And whereas it is further provided on the section 1092 of the act, that an order made pursuant to section 1091 of the act is subject to an affirmative resolution of parliament, except where the amendment is to the customs tariff headings only. And whereas the Minister of Finance seeks approval of the draft value added tax amendment of Schedule 1 order to amend Schedule 1 of the Act by an affirmative resolution of Parliament to include as zero rated goods a supply of goods under the following customs tariffs fittings, plastic water tanks, water pumps, pressure reducing valves, check non return valves, safety or relief valves, other appliances, parts. We resolve that Parliament, by affirmative resolution, approves the draft value added tax amendment of Schedule 1 order to amend Schedule 1 of the Act to include as zero rated goods, a supply of goods under the customs tariffs, headings, fittings, plastic water tanks, water pumps, pressure reducing valves, check non return valves, safety or relief valves, other appliances, and parts. Mr. Speaker, this resolution is to exempt items that help that assist in water storage for several reasons mr speaker you know um we have been subject to some severe droughts mr speaker and we, we know that during that time many people suffer from no water we are encouraging people to harvest water mr speaker because these droughts are going to be more persistent hope because of climate change and because of the fact mr speaker that the supply of water because of climate change is reducing all over the world mr speaker so we thought that we'd encourage people to make water harvesting part of their way of life like the same way you could buy a fridge you buy a water tank and we thought it to, it to, to encourage them, we would make the purchase of these tanks and their fittings, we would make it, make it cheaper, Mr. Speaker. Um, only last month, or during this month, the Minister of Agriculture distributed about 1,000 water tanks to the farmers of St. Lucia to, to, water the, 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 to be able to water the crops, Mr. Speaker. And all these fittings, for these water tanks, Mr. Speaker, would be vat free. So, Mr. Speaker, again, we also we are trying to encourage people to provide the environment, the enabling environment, Mr. Speaker, so people can get involved in, in water harvesting. I also want to advise people, Mr. Speaker, that water harvesting is the way to go. Water harvesting is the way to go. So, hopefully, and we hope the private sector joins with us and reduces the prices because any water tank or any fitting that is imported in solution now, when that order becomes effective, even if the price increases out of the country, it ought to cost 12.5% less because there is no VAT on it. We hope the private sector passes on that charge because they will, they will not pay the 12 and a half percent VAT, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I urge members to support Mr. Speaker because this, this resolution intends to help us in our water conservation because of the way things are going. And, if, and even if there's not a job, Mr. Speaker, when there's excessive rain, our water supply gets disrupt, this, is disrupted by excessive rain. So either way, Mr. Speaker, it pays if you get involved in water harvesting, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I urge members to support this resolution.